Like many people, I've installed smart home devices to make life easier. However, some devices cannot communicate with each other due to vendor incompatibility. When Manta was announced by Connectivity Standard Alliance, I became excited because it will make life easier for me and many other smart home device consumers. My name is Adish. I'm a senior security consultant at AWS. In this video, I will explain how vendors and manufacturers of smart home devices can use AWS Private Certificate Authority to build certificate authorities that meet Matter standard. Let's look at Matter from a 10,000 foot view. Matter is a standard developed and run by Connectivity Standard Alliance or Alliance for short. Matter is a common language used by many smart home devices. It's meant to make everything easier for smart homes, including buying, setting up, and using them every day. The goal of Matter is to make sure smart devices can work together, no matter who made them or what platform they are on. The Matter V1 specification was released in October 2022. Why Matter? These are the current challenges that led to the advent of Matter. Consumers don't know if a product will work with their smart home controller or hub like Amazon Alexa. For developers, instead of feature development, they spend resourcing managing vendor-specific development. For retailers, it increases expenses on staff training, product returns, and shelf spaces. Now let's discuss. What's the benefit of building with Matter? For consumers, it is easier to use and set up. Now, product development is not tied to specific vendor or standards, which reduce the cost of development operation and allows more time for innovation. For retailers, it reduces returns from incompatibility and make the process of purchasing smart home devices easier. With that understanding in mind, Let's dive into a sample network home powered by Matter. Matter enables smart home platform support multiple network transports, giving you the flexibility to use technology more suited for your use case. Matter devices can use Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or Thread for low bandwidth use cases, all of which are built on Internet Protocol or IP. This allows Matter devices to seamlessly and securely join the local network for device-to-device -device connectivity without limiting your flexibility to connect your device to cloud services. In Matter specification, the network is called Fabric. The devices on the network are called node. For example, the smart thermostat in the picture is a node. To develop a device that meets Matter standard, there are many requirements, but for now, let's focus on how to build a trusted and secure fabric for your customers and understand main security objectives. These main security objectives are device attestation, secure communication, and access control. Similar to traditional web security, i.e. using HTTPS in your URL, Meta also heavily relies on digital certificates to achieve these security objectives. Now let's examine certificate types and certificate authorities or CA recommended by Matter. The first type of digital certificate used in Matter standard is called device attestation certificates or DAC for short. These certificates are issued to smart home devices that comply with Matter standards during manufacturing. To issue DACs, among many other things, the vendor needs to set up a certificate authority chain that meets Matter standards specifications. The chain would include a product attestation authority, which is a root CA, and a product attestation intermediate, PAI, which is a subordinate or a sub CA. Next type of certificate is called the Node Operational Certificate or NOC for short. In previous slides, I refer to smart home devices as nodes in your smart home network. In Matter, this network is called Fabric. These certificates are issued 
and used to secure your Matic compliant smart home devices and network. This process is also known as commissioning. Now let's explore the journey of a smart home device from manufacturing to consumption. Let me first introduce the cast of characters in our journey. The Alliance maintains a list of trusted vendors or smart home device manufacturers on a blockchain called Distributed Compliance Ledger or DCL. Smart home manufacturers denoted as vendors in the picture produce smart home devices such as thermostats. These smart home devices are denoted as matter devices. These devices are purchased by customers who would have smart home controllers or hub like Amazon Alexa in their home. To get started, vendors or smart home device manufacturers must join the alliance and request a vendor ID or a product ID. Once that's done, vendor needs a certificate authority that comply with matter specifications. This is called a product attestation authority or PAA. AWS Private CA can assist with this. Next, vendor develop a smart home device that meets matter specification and have it tested at an authorized test laboratory. Once that's done, vendor can apply for certification using the CSA certification tool. Once the device is certified, vendors can display the matter branding and receive a cryptographic document called a certificate declaration or CD with specific vendor ID or product ID information. Independently, vendors, PAA information and vendor ID product IDs should be stored in the central database or ledger called DCL. These are steps one, two, and three on the right hand side of the screen. Finally, to issue device attestation certificates or DACs for smart home devices, vendors should use a subordinate CA or product attestation intermediate that is issued by PAA. This is step four. Let's say customers buy a smart home device like thermostat, which would connect to a smart home controller or hub such as Amazon Alexa. Before the hub allows the thermostat to connect to the fabric, it needs to confirm if it is produced by a trustworthy vendor. It will ask the leisure or DCL, do you trust this device? Use DAC to check if the device is authentic. Hub also needs to check the CD to ensure given model, PID or vendor ID is matter certified. Leisure or DCL will answer yes or no. If the answer is yes, the controller will give the thermostat a node operating certificate or knock and add it to the fabric. Manufacturers can use AWS Private CA to help them establish a device attestation CA that meets the matter standard requirements to issue DACs. But manufacturers are ultimately responsible for following Alliance's matter PKI certificate policy and configuring their private CA accordingly. If you're asking, how do I design a matter compliant certificate authority to issue DACs? You can start by checking the requirements for matter PKI certificate policy or CP. The CP has broken its requirement into nine distinct sections. There is a compliance guide to help you get started. Scan the QR code for more information. While you can use AWS Private CA to help you build Meta PKI CP compliant CAs, you are ultimately responsible for ensuring your own compliance with Meta PKI CP, including the implementation of controls specific to your use of services that may be necessary or applicable. Additionally, you should note that the order requirements are different depending on whether your certificate authority or CA is vendor ID or VID scoped product attestation authority or non-vendor ID scoped product attestation authority. Please refer to compliance guide and matter PKI CP for more information. Here are some, not all, specific requirements for setting up AWS private CA. For example, select FIPS 120-2 Level 3 Regional Endpoint for Private CA. PAA and PAI needs to adhere to specific certificate attributes like vendor ID or specific object identifiers or OIDs. 
multi-person access control when signing PAA and PAI certificate. Physical security and data classification of CA data exported out of AWS. Configure backup retention policies. These are just a few of requirements. Refer to Compliance Guide and Matter CP for more details. This may seem complex, but we have a AWS Cloud Development Kit or CDK app that can help you get started. You can use the CDK app to help you do the following things. Deploy a Matter PAA and PAI with specific PKI certificate attributes and naming requirements. Create required IAM roles. Configure logging and retention. Additionally, the CDK sample include an example for multi-party authorization for PAA and PAI certificate signing using Systems Manager, Change Manager. Important note, these examples add vendor ID in PAA. If you don't want to use vendor ID, which is allowed, please make sure to modify the source code carefully. This CDK app has an architecture that can be useful for different personas in your organization. For instance, the cloud admin team can utilize the sample to set up the PAA and PAI AWS private CA infrastructure. Your device or product team can use the control plane solution to request the DAC for your Matter compliant smart home devices, even if they are in a different region. And the infrastructure deployed via the CDK app can help your compliance team collect evidence for Alliance audits. Scan the QR code to visit the GitHub sample repo. Let's see how to request a device attestation certificate or DAC. To save time, I already deployed the CDK app using the instructions in the GitHub repository. I use the following CDK deployment commands. Notice the vendor ID and product IDs. These should be 16-bit hexadecimal values. I deployed two PAIs with product ID 8000 and 8001 for vendor ID FFF1. Let me switch to an AWS account console and navigate to AWS private CA. You can see the list of deployed product attestation authority and product attestation intermediates. Please note, in this test, I did not consider multi-party authorization or access control before signing certificates for PAA or PAI. An example mechanism using AWS SSM Change Manager is included. Please refer to GitHub repository for more details. Let me switch my screen to an instance from where we would be testing this infrastructure and requesting a DAC. I'll run this simple shell script, which creates a certificate signing request, CSR, using an elliptic curve key. This CSR would be uploaded to an S3 bucket, which will trigger an automation via Lambda to issue a certificate or report an error. This script will wait until the certificate is issued and then display the subject name of the certificate. Additionally, it will perform DAC chain validation using OpenSSL verify command and chips a tool which is part of Matter SDK. Now let's switch tab and run the script. It's uploading CSR, downloading TAC. Okay, as you can see, subject name consists of specific object identifiers or OIDs indicating vendor and product ID as required in Alliance's Matter PKI certificate policy. And successful DAC chain validation confirms that if this PAA is authorized by Alliance, this DAC can be used to verify authenticity of a smart home product. In summary, AWS Private CA can help create Matter PKI CP compliant device attestation CAs. The provided documentation and CDK samples are a good starting point, but it is up to you to ensure compliance with the Matter PKI CP. Please plan accordingly and read the Matter compliance documentation carefully. 
And that's it from us today. Thank you for your time.